footage showing just how vital a good crash helmet is. This rider was soon back on his feet, but our investigation reveals a dangerous illegal trade in counterfeit and unsafe helmets, which the authorities seem powerless to stop. Motorbike officer John Wilton was alarmed to find a biker wearing one with a novelty design and invalid safety markings. It was just an abysmal helmet, um, very cheap, very flimsy. I can appreciate how the wool is pulled over your eyes, um, especially to someone who's looking to buy this helmet. They go largely off of the description that they read on the internet and believe that they're getting a helmet which is legal. We found a brisk online trade with prices often a tenth of usual and false safety assurances. Counterfeiters often use logos from reputable brands. We asked the British Standards Institution to use this test rig to simulate a crash at just 30 miles an hour. First, this counterfeit AGV helmet from an online marketplace. What I found really shocking there was to see the helmet actually split, to see the interior beginning to emerge. How significant is that? Somebody wearing that helmet and having an accident, they're just not going to, they're going to be killed by the, by the impact of that injury. Then we tested this counterfeit RI helmet from an online sales site. Again, any idea it could protect in a crash simply falls apart. For someone wearing that helmet, it's going to... After, potentially after the first impact, it's going to disintegrate and then they've got no protection on their head at all. You can clearly see there that if there was a, a, an impact, the helmet would fall to pieces. And I showed those findings to a trading standards expert. There are villains out there, why aren't you stopping them? Well, we try, but the, the great problem is that a lot of these counterfeit products and these helmets particularly have come from the internet, haven't they, from the other side of the world. And, you know, as trading standards officers, our jurisdiction is localised. But the head of the UK's Motorcycle Action Group wants an international clampdown. You won't know until you're involved in an accident if that's an inferior quality product and it's just not going to do the job. Our test results are alarming.